Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is the monthly love reading for the sign of Aries for the month of May. I am going to use a different deck this month and a different spread. This will be the Lover's Path Tarot. And I always like using the um, uh, Dorian Virtues Romance Angels because I just think it's a really nice deck um, to have uh, to give us messages. All right, so um, if you are new to my channel, I just want to let you know that these are just general readings. It is not meant for everybody. So if it resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, you can take out of it what does resonate with you. Um, so, uh, and if you'd like to get a private reading, you can always email me. A little bit about myself, I'm a clairsentient, which means that I read people. When I do a reading, I read people, I pick up other people's energies and feelings. So if you purchase a private reading from me, just uh, you give me your first name or the first name of the per person you're inquiring about, I do the reading uh, by reading the person's energy and then I do a tarot spread. I also use cards. All right, so I can pick up emotions and feelings from other people. That is my gift. That is where I shine, and that's where I do my best work. And I would say I'm very accurate when it comes to that. You know, if I feel like someone's in love with you, I will feel like I'm in love. You know, so that's how it works with me. Okay, I have a cold. Can you tell? Oh, my God. I got it uh, Easter um, Sunday, and... It just kind of knocked me out. So, all right. What are the messages for Aries for the month of May? What are the messages for Aries for the month of May? Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. Month of May. All right. What I do is I shuffle till one card falls out. If more than one card falls out, I put them back in the deck. And one card that falls out at a time, those are clarity cards and jumpers. What are the message for Aries for the month of May? Sometimes it takes a while. What are the messages for Aries for the month of May? There we go. There's the first card. Aries for the month of May. Oh. Okay, two cards fell out. I'm going to put them back. Aries for the month of May. Aries for the... Ay. All right. And I can feel, um, as a clairsentient, I feel past, present, and future. What I'll do is I'll just... All right. I can feel where the relationship's going to go. I can feel why the person's angry. I can feel why the other person's behaving the way they are. More than two cards. Putting them back. All right. Aries for May. Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. Okay. That one flew out. Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. That's the message for Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. Okay, I'm going to bring this a little bit closer. I don't know why I'm whispering. Aries for the month of May. All right, so what are, the, what are the messages for Aries for the month of May? The very first card here talks about the, um, indicates the relationship. We have the Ten of Staves. So the Ten of Staves typically talks about being burdened, overwhelmed, um, stress, exhaustion, too many responsibilities. There could be some stress this month um, in the relationship, but it's coming to an end. All right, so this card is saying that you might be feeling overwhelmed, but you're coming to the end of a cycle. Tens are ends of cycles, aces are beginnings. 
All right. So that is the energy between the two of you. That is, you guys both could be feeling overwhelmed, stressed out about something, but really you're coming to an end. All right. So the next. So this is you. This is the Aries person. And this is how, what's going on in your mind. There's the three of arrows. The three of arrows is about heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression. It's about, um, in your mind, are you thinking that they're cheating? This is, this is, there's three here, talks about three people. It's a piercing through the heart. You're going in your mind, you're worried about heartbreak. You could be, um, in your mind thinking there's something going on here. You're stressed out because perhaps you're worried that this person is going to break your heart. All right. So this is what's going on in your mind. What's going on in their mind? We have the seven of staves. The seven of staves is being protect, protective, self-defense. So they could be defensive. All right. So in their mind, they're being very defensive. Why are they being defensive? You're worried. You know, they're going to break your heart. So this is this seven of staves is being defensive. It's be, they're protecting themselves. I mean, uh, there could be a lot going on. And so they're just being, being protective of their own heart and you are perhaps summing it up like you're you're worried that there's going to be heartbreak here this is what's going through your head this is what's going through their head they're just they're protecting themselves as well okay all right so then we have the next card is your um emotions feelings your concerns so here is the four of staves which is a minor marriage card this is about celebrations. It's wedding. This is feeling of security. So you could be, even though you were, even though in your head you're worried about heartbreak, emotionally you feel that this relationship is stable. All right, that it could go where you want it to go. It could um, be um, a long-lasting relationship because this force talk about foundations. All right talks about stability. Fours, the four in tarot is about stability and foundations. I feel like emotionally, you know that this is a stable relationship, but mentally, you're scared. All right, emotionally, here's them. This is the Prince of Cups. They want to give. You can see that they, they're offering. So the Prince of Cups is a charming, charming romantic love. They want to give. So here they are. This is usually Capricorn. Sorry, this is usually a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces male. But because it is a general reading, we're going to say male or female. All right? They want to give to you. All right? You know it's a solid foundation, but mentally, there's some stuff going on. But emotionally, you guys are feeling fulfilled. All right? They want to give, and you know that this is solid. You're feeling that it's solid. All right. Now, how they represent themselves on the outside, which is not really what's going on on the inside, but they, they're, you, here we have the Two of Cups. All right. So they're, you're seeing this as being uh, uh, the perfect relationship. But and, and it could very well be. This is soulmate. This is being uh, connecting mind, body, and soul. But there's fear here. All right? Your mind is playing tricks on you. It is a solid relationship. You see them as being solid. All right? But on the inside, you see them as being different. Okay? All right? And then we have the justice card. This is how they see you on the outside. I just gonna go. Uh, where is? Um, I just want to see the full meaning of this card. This card talks about so how they see you on the outside for justice is uh, wisdom, fairness. So they see you being the wise one and being fair, um, taking care of, care of other people's needs. Uh, so they see you as being the given one, giving one. All right. So it's a, it's a card of um, 
fairness. It really is. They see you as being the fair one. You know, uh, justice being done, justice is being done and being confident and patient. They see you as being that confident and patient person. All right. So it looks like it's going to be a good month. It's coming to an end of a rough cycle. You got to get out of your head, though. You really, really do. All right. Because they really want to give to you, but you don't see it. Feel it. Don't don't let your mind take it to where it's not. Okay, because this is your soulmate. They represent themselves as their soulmate. You just don't see it like that because you're too much in your head. Okay, all right. So I'm going to let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages for Aries for the month of May? Aries for the month of May. Trust. Here we are. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. All right? It comes in perfectly. You feel it. Here, this card is saying you're feeling it. You know it. You know, they represent themselves as this, but your mind is telling you otherwise. Your mind is telling you to be scared. All right? Okay, so there you go. If anybody would like to get a private reading, please email me and I will leave my email at the bottom of the video. I will get back to you within 24 hours and usually we'll have a reading to you within 48 hours. All right, shoot me an email and I'll send you instructions on how to get a reading. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I really, really enjoy doing these readings for you guys. All right, thanks again and have a great month. Bye-bye.